Hey guys, welcome to WebDev Cloud. Uh, today's video is going to be different because we are looking at the Chat GPT. Most of you are already familiar with Chat GPT. So Chat GPT is the uh, chatbot which is built in OpenAI, which is AI platform. So let's get started. So this is the login screen of the uh, Chat GPT. The URL I will be putting into the description of this video. So let's just log in because I already signed up. So I'm not going to the sign up step. Let me just click to log in. And we can log in using Google account as well. So let me do that quickly. So here is the screen we will be getting after logged in into the Chat GPT. And here are some examples and capabilities and limitation of the chat gpt let's just quickly go through them so examples are like you can ask anything almost and the capabilities is going to be it will be remember what user said earlier in this conversation it means it is you know it is remembering the context of the you know your conversation then allows user to provide follow-up correction it means if you ask something and then you realize that okay i made some mistake while asking the question then you can correct them at the at the next attempt then train to decline inappropriate inappropriate request it means if you ask some uh, sensitive information then it might decline you your request uh, and the limitation is going to be may occasionally generate incorrect information which can be possible because it's just open AI chatbot and not human so it may occasionally produce harmful instruction or bias content which is also possible limited knowledge of world and events after 2021 so these are the limitation which we need to take care of while asking anything to uh, chat GPT chatbot so let's just start asking some programming related questions so let's let's first ask what is uh, what is php so yes it is start producing the answer based on the information it is having so php is a programming language that is widely used for web development it is server side language which means that it is executed on the server and the results are blah 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 so this is the answer it produces so let me just ask some tricky question is it better than so oops better than javascript so here you can see I am asking in the context of first question here in the second question I'm not asking is PHP is better than JavaScript I'm just asking is it better than JavaScript it means it is it will remember the context what I already asked here so let me just ask this so again it is start producing the answer it is not necessarily better or worse than JavaScript as the, they are both programming language that are used to different purposes javascript is a client side language which means that it is executed by the client's web browser not in the server uh, php is server side language see it, it is it is producing the answer based on the first question as well so php is server side and javascript is client side language both php and javascript have their own strength and are commonly used together in web development php is often used to generate html for website and javascript is used to add interactivity to the website so to the conclusion it is writing that ultimately the choice of which language to use will depend on the specific needs and goals of a project so it is completely correct because it is not you know something which we can compare between php and javascript so excellent from chat gpt so far also it is you know uh, it is uh, helpful to produce some code snippets as well which is very good we can save a lot of time writing our own logic and rather we can just copy paste logic given by chat gpt here so let's just try one logic uh, how to print 1 200 using uh, using loop in PHP so here we go again so it is directly giving me the whole code 
which I can put into the file and execute and see if it really works or not. See, it is giving me example in both the loop, for loop and while loop. We just made a video on loop in PHP and we don't have to do anything if we have chat GPT on our end. So let's just put this into file and run into the browser. Let me just put PHP tag. It seems correct. Let's open the other browser and check the output. Oh my God. You can see it is producing the output from 1 to 100. We can save a lot of time by, you know, surfing the chat GPT chat board. As of now, it's free, but who knows? It can be paid near time or possible. So let me just ask something else in the context of our previous question. So here I, I was asking like how to print 1 to 100 using loop in PHP. Now let me ask, how about the reverse order? How about the reverse order means from 100 to 1. So as we all know, it is remembering the context of our previous language. So it has started producing the answer based on that previous question. So here we already have our code. We just need to copy it. It is also giving in while loop as well. If in case we are interested to use the while loop, let me just put this. Let me remove the first code. Let's check the output. So yes, it is again correct. It is giving us everything. We don't need to do anything. We don't have even, you know, knowledge of any programming language. We just need to know where to write the code and that's it. The chat GPT is going to prepare everything for us, so, which is kind of magical. Let me just ask something else as well. Mm, let's search like, give me personal identification form in PHP. So here we go. It has start producing the form, which has name, first name, last name, etc. Maybe. This is really insane. We just need to click on the copy code. And it is also producing the PHP file as well. Oh my God. This might kill the job of web developer because everything is produced by chat GPT. Let me just put this in some file. Let's say form.html. Let's check, check this output. In separate tab so localhost form.html and here we go it is also arranging the you know form it is not like just throwing away some forms it is also arranging in proper manner which is excellent let me just make it big also it is al already provide me with the php file with which on which it is redirecting after the submission so i can create that file as well. It is called process underscore form dot PHP. And here I can write my code. So upon the submission, it will redirect to uh, process underscore form dot PHP. And here it, it will be printing the information which we have already given in the form dot HTML. So we can try that. Let's say John email is John at the rate test dot com. Date of birth can be anything. J 
gender male submit and here it goes to the process underscore form dot php and here it is printing each information every information that we have provided in the form dot html and I mean, we don't need to do anything in case of you know smaller snippet or bigger snippet which we can get it from chat gpt let's try one more thing mm, give me js validation of above form here is an example blah 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 written validate see it also included the js function here let's see what it produces yes it is also producing the script which is required to validate this form here we can see that if we know what to search exactly in the chat gpt then i mean we don't need to write anything from the code's point of view everything will be provided by chat gpt and we just need to copy and paste on our end before using it So let me just copy this entirely and replace this in form.html. So now we have got our validation as well. Let me just refresh it. Submit. Oh, here it shows the validation as well. John, again submit. Again, need to write some email. Need to write some mail submit and done we have redirected to the process underscore form dot php fantastic also we can have multiple chats at the same time so say for example here throughout this chat we have been asking related to php and javascript and html and their snippets so if you would like to ask something related to some sports or anything else then we can click here and go for the new chat it will create a new chat for us let's say uh, let's start like who is better ronaldo or messi so let's check what chat gpt thinks so it is subjective to determine who is the better player between cristiano ronaldo and lionel messi as both players have consistently performed at the high level of high level throughout their careers both players are considered to be among the greatest soccer player of all time and have achieved numerous individual and team accolades so to the conclusion ultimately it is up to individual opinion as to who is the better player both ronaldo and messi have unique style of play and have had successful career so it is difficult to define definitively say one is better than other so in those cases it is you know giving us the complicated answer it just doesn't have his own opinion on everything let's try one more mm, let's say sachin or virat hot topping amongst the indian Sachin Tendulkar and Virat Kohli are both highly regarded as two of the greatest cricketer of all time. Tendulkar, a former Indian cricketer, is widely regarded as one of the greatest batsmen in the history of cricket. He is leading run scorer and a century maker in Test and One Day international cricket, and is considered to be one of the greatest cricketer of all time. Kohli is the captain of the Indian national team. I think it is still living in the past as of now rohit sharma is the captain so it's completely fine because it's it doesn't know the events after 2021 so it is okay kohli has scored the most centuries in international cricket for an indian player and it's also fastest player to reach 10000 runs in odis in a nutshell it is difficult to compare the two players directly here it comes the complication as they played in different eras and have different styles of play both tendulkar and kohli have had successful career same like ronaldo and messi 
and are highly regarded as two of the greatest cricketer of all time so it is very diplomatic of chat gpt to be honest so let us check out some more options available here so this is for clearing the conversation what we have did uh, done in the past so we can clear it and here we are back with the blank screen this is open ai discord which leads us to some another page let's just not check this for now update and faqs which is also leading me to some different url and the last is logout so this is how you can use uh, you know chat gpt in order to ask most of your problem related to programming related to any you know devops kind of things you can ask anything and everything and it will provide you uh, straight away uh, without you know uh, wasting your time you can find almost anything on chat gpt so this was it from chat gpt's point of view hope you like this uh, you know video which is totally different from our genre of our channel so we'll come with some more videos like this in uh, next time so till then have a nice time cheers